It weighed 4.3 tons versus 2.5 for a regular power wagon and was built by West Coast Machinery Company of Stockton, California. It used a Chrysler Model IND 18 AV8 engine with 135 horsepower. There was no suspension other than that provided by low pressure bags. The car was tested in Greenland and at Aberdeen Proving Ground from 1953 to May 1954. Raw Ligon is the brand name for a type of tire designed for use on rough terrain or for driving on soft desert or tundra terrain. The tires have a large surface area and are filled with air at a very low pressure of only 0.35 kg per square centimeter. By comparison, a typical car tire is inflated to about 2.2 kg per square centimeter. Because the weight of the vehicle is distributed over a large area. The ground pressure is much lower than on conventional tires. In addition, their low pressure allows the tires to deform easily, swallowing bumps and obstacles. As Life magazine notes, hitting someone with a raw ligon roller gives a person about the same feeling as a vigorous massage. Raw ligons were invented by William Hamilton Alby, who was a teacher who lived in a small Eskimo village in Bering Strait, Alaska before he became the inventor and founder of the company. While fishing in 1935, William watched as a group of Eskimos lifted a heavy wooden boat, loaded with about four tons of catch, out of the water onto the muddy shore using several bags of inflated airtight seal skin that they rolled under the boat. William watched mesmerized as the fishermen led the boat up the slope with ease. Despite the gravel and rocks, William Alby returned to California and in 1951 began working on a modern adaptation. He developed baggy tires made of rubber impregnated nylon that were very flexible. They deformed easily but did not expand. After much consultation, the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company agreed to produce them according to plans developed by Alby. Eventually, Albi founded the Albi Raw Ligon Company and began producing cars equipped with low-pressure tires. Later, with the help of the U.S. Army, the Albi Company produced the Jeep, the Rio truck and the Dodge Power Wagon equipped with Raw Ligons. The last creation was the 7-ton Albi Raw Ligon SUV. Unfortunately, William Albi failed to turn this concept into a successful business. His company ran into financial problems forcing Albee to sell the assets of his company in 1960 to John G. Holland, who renamed the company the Raw Ligon Corporation. The Raw Ligon brand is now owned by National Oil Well Varco, NOV, of Texas, a leading global supplier of oil and gas drilling equipment and components. NOV still makes vehicles with Raw Ligon. Their biggest customers are oil companies operating in northern Alaska.